Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Red Flood. I'm your host, Mr. Vladimir Mayakovsky level, but we gotta talk about the choice of naval doctrine. Ever since the collapse of the backwards Ottoman Empire and the collapse of the Russian authority, the Black Sea has been an open hunting, been an open season hunting ground. We must not fall behind advancing our own ideas of ruling the oceans to guarantee our trade goods to pass through the Bosphorus freely. How we go about it is left entirely to the minds of our admiralty, without theories being thrown around freely. Either we could follow the ideals of standing a battle fleet to scare our opponents with the might of our gigantic ca cannon boats alone, make them fear our might so they never dare to even come close to our shores. Another idea is more voiced by the pragmatic wing of our young navy. Cripple the training fleet. Sink the transports. The wolf packs will go off for the furious hunt and strike fear in the hearts of every sailor willing to enter our waters before he might not be able to leave. Lastly, we could choose to directly attack their Achilles heel and bomb the ports down to ashes. Our new carriers are set out to heroically rule the skies like eagles, as they dive towards their floating prey. Whatever we make of these proposals, they're left to ourselves completely as our word marks the ultimate or ultima alessio. In any case, we will make them fear our naval might, as of course we're doing air, doctrine, coffee, break. Uh, should we do a side on base strike? Trade interdictions are future. I'll largely protect us. Honestly, none of this really matters since we'll never really focus on the Navy, at least for this campaign. So, it is what it is. But, since we're here... Uh, the cheapest thing we could really do is probably trade interdiction, so I'll go with trade interdiction. Thank you very much. Cool. And of course, we read this last time. Did I, I did ask you guys yesterday, though, or at least in the last video, whether we should do introduce the NEP or bring in the five year plan. And overall, at the time of this recording, there's more support for. Introduce the NEP. Just a little bit more support. Let us not fall into the traps of volunteerist delusions. To create communism, we need to first develop the productive forces, and the only way to do so is through allowing the bourgeois class to be active. Our current system of state economy thwarts the capitalists too much. We should allow for private industry and introduce market elements to our economy. Though it may hurt our idealism, this is the only way to real progress. After all, it is the capitalists who will sell us the rope with which we will hang them. Which is always a good thing to do. Always, 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 always. As we're just at this point, just trying to get a bigger military, a bigger, stronger, thicker military. Because it's not thick enough, we don't want them. So, our score roll is level four right now. Which we is level five. We could use a few. What, what can we use? We could use some more trucks. We could use some more support equipment. We got a good amount of trains. Fighters are okay. Artillery is oh, not great. Oh, these guys killing each other too. Nice. Can we actually send volunteer forces? Oh. Huh. Do we care about either side here? No, but can we get more army XP? Yes, so why not? Uh, you guys are 8 combos, which is okay. Mountaineers are 12, and you guys are honestly 18, and you're going to do the we send. Which one do we like more? Uh, conservatives or progressives? Well, both are not very good, so. Or at least at the very least, I just don't care about either one. Because they're not us. Only 29. Well, you know what, actually. There you go. Why not? We'll send some planes down. Oh, we do have a uh, research slot. Oh. 29, yeah. Um, six research. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. So, uh, there's been a little bit of time between this episode and the last episode, so... I apologize if it doesn't seem very continuous from the last video. Um, we got a lot of stuff done already, so. No, screw it. If we're going to do it, I'm just going to start doing that one. Whatever. Actually. We are finding enemy planes to shoot at as well, which is good. Build up surplus. Yeah, we're going to need to really do that. We need way more trucks. Um, but we did some comments as well with choice of air doctrine during a coffee break. After revitalizing coffee break, your general staff tries to get right onto the action, uh, under the... Plans to reform the military. The latest point on the list concerned the Air Force and strategic deployment. The Caucasus Mountains are steep and hard to cross, so that the only way to truly be able to control the further reaches of our realms will be decided in part by effective control of the skies. Once again, our officers are spending the matter, as our current cap capabilities are calling for an absolute reform of aerial doctrine. The hardliners advocate the most radical changes in the form of embracing the doctrines of strategic destruction. Send long range bombers to right in the heart of our enemy territories. Let them feel the wrath of our nations, kill a tons of explosives, rain upon the enemy like fiery raindrops sent as their biblical doomsday. More modern elements propose using our air force for battlefield support as cavalry from the skies. Our men may never be fearful as guardian angels, uh, uh, as a guardian angel guides their steps from above, ready to call a strike at the enemy in a heroic leap of faith. But they dive towards the enemy. Lastly, more pragmatic wing of the officer staff emerges an interest group promoting the usual tactical bombers. Why should we decide between the beauty of incendiary beauty falling from a metallic glitter from the heavens and supporting our men right at the front? 
Naturally, the atmosphere is quite tense. Our aircraft industry is still on its foundations, I and mean, the call has made a detrimental impact upon our future aircraft uh, production. And there, we're going to go with Battle for Support, because is that right now? It's very strong, and I love Battle for Support. <clears throat> there you go. Nice. Up, and, of course, all you people were poets. Oh, wow. 25% more political power and attack. Defense quarter territory, daily acceleration. Is... Wow. Support. And when the stomach is full for the last time and the famous winds cease to blow, humanity will reach its final stage. Utopia. Yes. What's this? Oh, Nesta Machno. Yes. You know what? We'll use you. Oh, wait. Yosef. Yosef. This is awkward. Huh. Well, we got a guy named Yosef. He's politically connected, though, which I don't like, but whatever. Head on down into the battle zone. Look at that. Knights of Utopia. That sounds... That's amazing. Plus 50% non-core manpower, 5% more crippled population, better strength and other... Oh, 10% more cavalry attack, too. I didn't see that. Holy crud. Now, I want you to get on into the action here. So this way... You get a whole bunch of army XP. Can you actually do something there? Maybe? Probably not. Well, do it the best you can. Nice. Any more army XP? Yes. A lot more daily army XP. Um, so, we've got a quite a few comments, such as, As Sir Mayakovsky, he himself used to draw a lot of commercial ads and mini poems during the NEP period. So, which, which is part of the reason why we went with the NEP for the focus, so... Um, Nestor Makhno himself commented as well in the last video as well. Let's see. Um, Ma Vladimir Mayakovsky for, uh, wrote a poem, says, I gathered from my trousers. Yes. Yes. I gathered from my trousers. So it says, Gotta say, rough blood is zany and unsettling at times, but I love it. So it showed some, some fiction, which is really cool. So let me heart that. Um, let me see. Da -da 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 -da. We need to have, can't wait till Project Utopia is finished. So it says, you got a suggestion. Play as a blue rose society in Oral Blues and become the Earth Defense Force to make an FBI America. Well, we'll see. So when I was asked if I could play End of New Beginning, play as the Austrian Empire. Um, so it says, I'm not going to lie, the monkey super event got me in the first half. Yes. Very cool. And we are, oh, well, hmm. We're doing all right. Not bad. I mean, this is, 18 combos is not bad. Don't get me wrong. Still. Sure, we can do that because I... I have nothing else to do with that stuff, and then, uh, sure, why not, too? And this one, I don't want to do that one, because that hurts our, um, our ability to make things. And I like us to be able to make things. <clears throat> That's not bad, it's getting better, artillery's getting uh, slowly, slowly better. But we just don't have goods. Are we just fine on anybody? Bomb Ottoman State. Yes, we are. We're still just fine on these guys, which is actually okay with me. As long as we have enough divisions to help hold the line. Uh, it might be a bad idea to go to war with these guys, but I need time to just build ourselves up, so... And if we could take these guys out, that'd be great for, you know, resources and such. Because... Let's see... Compliance... They don't have a ton here, too. But that would be, like, almost 20 more steel. And that'd be a lot more chromium. So, at least getting more steel or something here. Because we could go, could go to the Kurds or Iraq, but it's a good amount of factories and whatnot, so. We'll see. Nice. And besides, Enver Pasha, um, they're, they're hurt pretty bad with this stuff. I mean, it won't be easy to kill them, but, you know, whatever. So, what are we waiting for here? Support equipment, huh? Hmm. Straight away for two. Should be able to make, well, more, at the very least. <clears throat> and before we go to war, let's try and save a little bit, see what happens, you know? And there we go. Immediately start attacking us. Now this is 
There are a crap ton of mountains here. So fighting here is going to be pretty god awful. Uh, more war support, political power, don't care about that much stability. Uh, I'll give you that one, you can do both, why not? As should, in theory, give us quite a bit more army XP if they go crazy trying to attack us. They've already lost 1,000, 1,200. That's pretty good for us. Uh, we'll have to attack here, but we can wait. Attack bombers, because we're probably running out of things really research. Uh, there it goes, too. That one, deregulation. Ooh, which is the market zero. Uh, let's do infrastructure public works. Our economy cannot function if we can't get people and materials from place to place. Our public works project over the next several months should be focusing on the public infrastructure so that our economy can function properly. Sounds like a good idea. There we go. Hey. Nice. Push force is very good. 93, 39. Go and grab some more fuel. A lot more fuel. You don't really need it right now. That'd be nice. Ah. Seven thousand losses. Not bad. Even though we suffered a thousand, we're still mobilizing. I'm not too worried about this. Nice. Very good. Coming infantry leader, of course. A mountaineer is very good as well. Uh, maybe even organizer, trickster, definitely. Thirty-seven. Let's run out of manpower, then we'll probably try to really hit him hard, or at least try to hit him harder. So that mind. We went drop down to this now. We hit ourselves a little bit with that, but you know, should save us at least a little bit here. Uh, I'll grab one of these, and grab one of these for now too. So we're down to two. That's all right. We're building up some millies. I'm still trying to build up some civvies as well. Finish off those millies first, though. Nice. Very nice. Hey. Very good. Give them more time to, for for them to attack us. But after public infrastructure works, new Soviet man. The fires or the building of socialism requires a new type of man forged in the fires of the revolution. Free of the slave royal of yesterday, heroically facing the future. We must become these giants of tomorrow. Every Kaz Kavkazian worker must know the ideal. A perfect man of virtue, braver and creative prowess that will be the citizen of the utopia we're building here. 20% more division organization and attack and defense and stuff like that. Jesus. So good. So we're done with this stuff. We're done with, we'll be done with this one. <clears throat> the regulation, huh? So snakes in their quarters. Our first weapon will be a good friend of the Bolsheviks at the beginning of our party. Subversion and asymmetric warfare. Let's go anywhere in Russia. There will always be brave revolutionaries waiting for our armies. They shall be like the enemy from the back like venomous snakes. Paralyze him and let us deal the final blow. What if you guys could go in and do any sort of damage? Maybe. Because they're still attacking us too, so how about you hold? Don't worry about being on the offensive for now. Oh, we lost 5,000. They lost 22,000, which does. That's actually really nice. Truck's looking pretty good. If anything, no one increases to three. Let's go down to two. Navs, attack bombers, if we ever get there. I kind of doubt it, though. We're making a little bit of cast, which is nice. 28,000, not bad. I think they are slowly running out of guns as well, which is very, very good, too. Um, but if we want to get any one of these... Mm, Meticulous Preparation, Embrace the Future, Professional Officer Corps, Proper Heritage. It's not terrible. Like, I always kind of like that one, too. <clears throat> oh, I need to man. Barbaro Genius, the Despoiler. Okay, well, saves some villages full of barbarians. Quick improvisation, that's okay. Uh, honestly, I might go with motorization drive, maybe. Tank design cost, but we don't have any tanks. What is this? 
Uh, we can't do this one. If you want to do this one, please go ahead. We can't do it since, uh, yeah, I'm not a neighbor of that group. The path of Zoroaster. Poor dear Persian. It would be um, difficult to name a country with more rich and beautiful history than that has endured such a level of exploitation. While our most genuine sympathy goes to the plight of the Iranian proletariat, there is an opportunity to be had out of their misery and in London's ignorance. In a state when barely functioning state goes far away from the Kolchak's case. Surely they would have minded if we were to use their smuggling routes to exchange much valued resources with their eastern comrades. It's only a small donation to the global socialist revolution after all. Oh, happy 939, everybody. Up in 1939. Yeah, why not? Because you can. War room. Uh, yeah, more construction speed would be good. Remove a civilian out of Millie. That's not worth it. Recruitable population plus 50%. Holy crap. That ain't bad. How are the generals learning? 99% there towards becoming an infantry leader. Nice. <coughs> Ooh, he's become an infantry specialist. Do we have an infantry specialist? Oh, heck yeah. 5% max treatment. We're going to need more attack. Flying through this mount's going to suck. There, 50,000 losses so far. That is so nice. Path of Zoroaster, though. But I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do a law of foreign investment. Oh, look at that. Versus steel grip of the proletariat. Now, the challenge recording, there's a little bit more support for. Actually, quite a bit more support for a steel grip of the proletariat. More control, more factories, more railways, more steel, more guns, more oil. The economic enthusiasm of a society is booming. The worker state only needs these raw mass energies for creation. Our new economy will be moving perfectly like a self-replicating machine. Strict supervision and bold dreams will be able to bring all the bounty of nature under dominion. I think overall it, makes, it might make more sense for allow or an influence. In my opinion, it really does. But overall, there's just overwhelming support for this. But we also got to talk about deregulation. In order for our business to have the freedom they need to innovate and thrive, we must... Reduce government legislation on the economy. From this, we shall spring forth a fountain of prosperity for our nation. Nice. Anything else there? Nope. Um, limit exports, close economy. I'll get there eventually. Of course, we're going to extensive conscription. We'll probably need to go to a service bar requirement eventually, too. Um, just for the future. So. Oh, look at that. Top five. Nice. There we go. Defense. Blitz. Oh, Blitz, a masterful Blitz, huh? We'll go with that one right now. For now. It's only a defensive one, but whatever. Destruction, yes, please. Nice. They're really exhausting themselves. Where are we at with this stuff? Still building. 15 and 7 is not bad. That's actually pretty good. Darn good. Um. Better wartime effort. That'd be nice. New Soviet man. Yeah, that's really strong. That's never enough. Oh, actually, have a ship here. Well, as much as I want to use it, it would be very smart to use it right now. Because I'll just die. If we were to use them. Nice. Very nice. 74,000. Well, just for taking so long with this, it just it is, it is what it is. That's not bad. Still have plenty of fuel stockpile, not sure. Intelligence agency, sure, why not? War economy force, limited exports. And deregulation. I was going to say, are they done attacking? If they are, we'll start attacking them. But you know what? They're not done. And that's okay with us. Hmm. Planning speed. Daily command part goes up. Cost goes down. Attack. Honestly, I might just go with this one. Get more daily command power. Land option saves you. But what do you do with that? Speed's okay. Engineering and stuff is okay. I think you might throw in some recon. Some real cheap recon if you can. Anti-air. 
No. Some recon. That'd be nice. As much as I want to get take this guy for now, because that'd be pretty good. As you can see, we can't quite do that. Trickster, trust on speed. Eh, go faster. Just be faster. Do better. Anyone thought they're not that not too shabby. Then shut Civi off first. And then start attacking again, and then what we might actually be able to attack, maybe, because they're looking like they're out of guns. I'm not sure what they're out of, but they're probably out of guns. One more time, please. Three. Two. One. Well. Try it. Can we win there? The real question. Maybe. It is mountains, which does suck. We do have some army XP. As much as I want to upgrade our uh, soldiers. Let's go and upgrade these guys too. These guys could use some definitely, definitely some love. Oh, I guess not. Okay. And then... Okay. Your twos are very nice, military police too, even though we're not really going to be able to use that for now. Deregulation, and we'll go with uh, steel grip of the proletariat. There is one. Yeah. You're going to do this again, please go ahead, but, you know, steel grip. Which does leave us with whether we should do a national trade union versus another, never another Zubatov's China. And overall, at the time of this recording, there's more support for a national trade union. Even though I think it makes more sense to do this one, maybe, potentially, sometimes, but whatever. It is what it is. Oh, right, is there any P men? Oh, what? whoa, daily compliance plus 0.3? Holy crap, that's really strong. But not trading unions, plus 20%, more political power. Okay, that's not bad. Way more output, too. But, if we form a state a trade union, which all workers can join, then not only can we help protect the workers directly, but we can also control this trade union towards our own ends. Gone are the days of spontaneous strikes crippling the economy. President Net Men. Our new policy of liberalization gave rise to a new class of business men arising. These so-called net men are usually small entrepreneurs and newly enriched by trade. They represent a, uh, a typically a petite bourgeois type of mentality. And while our economists celebrate successes in bringing growth, some of the hardened revolutionaries begin to worry. Will our dreams of our inner spirits be crushed under the feet of a vulgar and philistine middle class? Will all the gains of the revolution is returned to this accursed mediocrity that we declare a war against? Capitalism is returning? Oh no. Oh, actually, well, look at that. Nice. Not bad. So after that one, socialist Russia. Well, once we own Moscow. Moscow. Now that we've liberated the workers of Russia from the tyranny of the capitalism and feudal despots, uh, we'll have to bring them and their factories to socialism in the future, luckily. No no task is too Herculean for the proletarian Superman. And to do this one, we have to be peace. The clock strikes 13. There's much chaos under heaven. The autocrats and black hundredists, reactionaries fight over the stolen spoils, saying thousands and thousands more. Oh, the lower classes are early grades, but this, of course, is terrible for those having to endure the mistrule, but it's an excellent opportunity for the revolution. Best we execute our moves with swift and, ex and quickly and end this madness. But whatever madman emerges alive has us all hanged instead. Nice. Uh, that stuff is okay. Uh, yeah, let's go get next year's. Uh, they're not going to attack us. We're going to start making, thinking about uh, encirclements. Should be relatively easy to be able to destroy them right there. So, And... There we go. March north. As the reactionaries murder themselves, the unstable Cossack state of the Southeastern Union is left without protection. Let our brave legions of the future march in and beat those retrograde bandits to, into the ground. And here we are at everybody. Not too bad so far. We've pushed, as you can see, quite a bit in. Um, they're doing okay. They've lost quite a few divisions. We made a couple of here and there. Apparently, though, we're at war with the Intermarium. So, apparently, opponent was like, hey, yo, let's go to war. I'm like, bro, what? Accelerations, trying to fight other accelerations. Well, apparently I tapped over, and they did do No Mercy for Muscovite Apes. So, they got a declaration of war goal against us, so... Yeah. It is what it is, I guess. We got a lot more cast, which is actually really nice. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to wrap this up. The AI has been just trying to do force defense, like, the entire time. 
be honest, it's getting kind of annoying. But we still going to go to war with the Russian Empire eventually too, so we'll get there too. Um, just keep going, keep going for now. Any parts and stuff for now, that's good as well. Uh, so. A million manpower, look at that. Not bad, not bad. Certainly refuse to give up, so. And Machno can become an infantry specialist. Kind of a waste for us if we did that one, but you know, whatever. Overwhelming firepower, sure, why not? Oh, encircled, yes. Definitely encircled now that they definitely don't, don't have a port now. Uh, they don't have very much left. I mean, as we saw earlier, they really did not. So, so that, that was quite a distraction for us. My hope is that Russia can do well against these guys. Actually, your, your capital is in Kharkov? Kharkov? Huh. So now, even though we're doing resistance oppression. Um, oh. Oh, do we have to be at peace? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's so stupid. So we'll march to the north, definitely. And go to war with the Russian National Peasant Republic. And, uh, yeah, trek east. We're going to do both these. And now I like called Chakrakrasi. That's the growl, the nest of the devil himself. Soon will be in our hands. We'll destroy every last trace of Kolchak's rule, tear away every order from a fattened aristocrat's chest, and hang every oppressor from the other people. Forward, so a war of destiny, a war of total destruction. The dawn is near, and let us be the midwives of the bright sun. Trek east, in the east, the vast plains of forest hold many vast treasures of nature. Yeah, they're not. They're still marked by the oppression of the imperial bourgeoisie, but not for long. Breathe free in the soil of Asia as you drink the blood of those who tortured your children. Well, everyone, after totally not using Khan's command so that we could do this, uh, let's go to war with these guys because why not? Let's see what we can do. Um, how many divisions do they do have? Oh, up to twenty-five. We do have twenty-four ourselves, which is pretty darn nice. If you want to, just go right there. Good hospitals because you can. Political orthodoxy, not bad. Technological showcase. Get to the port, Catherine, Catherine Odor. Something like that. Should have went with this one instead. Yeah, maybe. Compliance would have really helped us out since we're, we're expanding quite a bit. But oh well. Oh, now we're good. Oh, they're doing quite well over here. Look at that. Ooh. An encirclement. Of course, did, these guys did go to war with Prussia, so. Tomorrow I'm still not that weak. Odessa's the capital, huh? Well then. Well, 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 well. Nova Chukask. Oh, there goes Prussia. Oh, okay. What the heck? Is that really how they're going to divide up Prussia? Disgusting. Alright. More planes could never hurt. Well, we're definitely uh, roaming around here. Where's the capital now? It starts in. Not bad. Overall, I'd say pretty good. Uh, I don't really do either one. I can keep a command power for now. Yeah. So you can take out certain. Not bad, not bad. <coughs> and all the way at the bottom with you. Put up a milli. Nice, very nice, very nice. Training time goes up. One more defense and organization is always very good. We've lost about 3,000. Jesus. This is that much? That's not bad. That's pretty good. Ostrakhan. Yurolsk. Resistance is going up, of course, but whatever. Zertsen is a capital. And we took it. And Yurolsk is now what we need. I just hope we can core this stuff. We're gaining the labor, the Republic of Labor and Virtue. It's gonna take so long to get all the way over there. Holy crap! I do that one. Nice. 
I mean, if you want to make them, if you got time and space for them, sure, why not? Ah. Sovereign state. Wow. Jesus Christ, Ukraine. Um, we still have to be at peace for this one. Ah, uh, there's not really much we can do. I think. We might just, just use consequences and do that book as well. I mean, I really don't want to get involved until these guys are fully done. So, well, well everyone, we can try it. We literally have no supply, but we can try this. We can definitely try it with no supply. Also, um, I did decide to just go with this one. It'd make it easier on ourselves. Motorization drive. Make it cheaper to get motorized stuff. We have aggressive recon, which I almost never use. I converted our cavalry division to just throw in a bunch of that motorized. So, we'll see how well we really do. So, yeah. Should do okay, but we just have no supply. That's all right. You just, you know, no supply. Get back up here. Nice. Passive defense. Very nice. Please take out Ormberg. Turgay. Orsk. Bitta, please. This is this is very annoying. Just have to wait for this stuff. Ugh. Terrible. But I'd rather just get through this part now and just kind of wait the entire time. Where are their divisions? They're 4 to 10. I haven't seen a single one yet. But my god, fighting through is going to be so bad. As you see, we're trying to build two things here. Um, I think it would be best if we do have the rail lines here first, though. Mm -hmm. Been recently captured, so it should... American Collapse. Oh! Nice. There we go. I actually got some spots there. That's the case. No, it's built anyways. You might need it eventually. Well, good job. Mer America, American state, state stuff. Texas. Well, communes. Gurley Flynn, good job. Kanawa. This is where with the text without El Paso. Say Jefferson, not bad, not bad. There yet? Come on. Actually, we did take it. Nice. Chelyabinsk. Very good. Good. Supplies, supplies, supplies. No, there's no supply up here yet, but, you know, we're working on it. Definitely, definitely, definitely working on it. Oh, I found their divisions. Alright. There you go. Well. Keep going on in, I guess. Passive defense, not bad. Keep working on yourselves. Hospitals. Nice. No air bases, unfortunately, but whatever. Once we get to this nation, we're just gonna be beat the crap all these people up down here. Uh, Siberian Federal Republic. Four to nineteen. Russia doesn't have that many divisions. Oh, Moldova's doing quite well, though. Look at that. These guys are slowly coming back. Maybe. Ish. Kazakh Red Army. Austria looking, do be looking pretty nice, though. Oh, Carl. Papere. United Kingdom. Huh. Keep going on in. Doing the best we can. France ships arms to Batumi. Undercover directors, British smugglers from the western coast of the Black Sea have been shipping arms from France into Kafkaz. They are future sympathizers, spies, and mercenaries, all on the payroll of French agents. They will not say quite how the guns got to their nation, but they will show us that their supply chains are secure. They have our thanks. We really don't need them, but they have our thanks.
Oh, wow, they're actually doing force defense, huh? Well, better them than us. God, fighting the desert sucks. Can you guys actually move faster, fast at all, or... No, you cannot. Holy crap. They lost 16,000 in the last Republic. Try Blitz, maybe. See what that's like. Really? Force defense? Come on, man. A last Republic. Wow. They have only one National Spear, but that's pretty good. It's a very good one. Plenty of manpower, 6 to 17 divisions. They're gonna still lose in the end, though. Ah. Level 6, nice. Actually, does that upgrade this? It does! Nice. Mm, it's hard to tell what's going on here. I think they're actually pushing out this way. God, this is so slow going. How thick is this division? If anything, we probably don't have the support for this. Or we might. Huh. We already have it on, you guys, which is good. Logistics. That's yeah, good enough for now. Nice. Doesn't help out that much, I'll be honest, but you know, every little bit helps. Support 2. Looking pretty good. Maybe 40, 41. Get more output, maybe. Um, that stuff really matters to us right now. Ah, nuclear stuff, yes. Lots of cats here, eh? Can't really support everything that we want to do yet. Might look at some refineries, too. Can recruit another operative, maybe? Yeah. That'd be good. Slavs, free territory of Zeltorosia. Oh yeah, kill each other off, please. Anarchists. Despots. Visible ink. Yegor Othrovsky. Dmitry Golovin. Golovin. Then Nebogatov. I want you. You're tough. Can help us lower resistance, even though it's not very high right now? I still like low resistance. Keep them low. Or they're going, they're gonna, not going to need right. Just enough. Nice. Yeah, we're going to Trickster too, that's good. Proof anti here, nice. I guess just go for the capital. Screw it. Oh, there's a new base there too. Or we built that one up. Maybe we built that one up. Ah. Help him out. Help him out. Use signals because you can. Supply, or obviously the front line here is very bad. Supply up here is actually not bad. There's actually two, three on the front line? That's actually pretty good. It's actually quite good. Huh. Who would have thought that? Sensor radar. Got a coordination. But let's we'll get through this part together first, and then we're pretty much going to win here now. Since we did get an airbase built here. So that's very good, actually. We'll probably finish off the rest of Russia. 
before we take out actual Russian Empire. All right, everyone. So now we have not taken out Central Asia yet, but it is what it is it is whatever. We have taken out and gone all the way to the Pacific. Not too bad. Pretty easy. We've gone to war already with the Russian Empire, who took out Poland in Intermarium finally, and then France took out Germany and the Italian National Republic and the Austrian Empire. Well, oh, they're all oh, the Italians are in this league so large. And they're all dying over there, so regardless, we've gone to war with the Russians, and we're having an okay time. 50 divisions, 26,000 manpower losses, or 26,000 losses, we've lost about 7,000 as we're pushing through Crimea. Or Crimea. Crimea River. But overall, not bad. And we did break through Cyprus already, so you know what, go into this. It doesn't matter to me too much. Uh, we should do okay-ish. <coughs> like I said, they have about, uh, actually... We have actually the same number of divisions, which is not bad. That's actually pretty good. But, you know, doesn't mean our divisions are great. Doesn't mean their divisions are bad, so. We'll do the best we can right now. Of course. And I want you guys to go right there. In the front lines. And I did get some flame tanks on our divisions, which would be very, very nice. Um, over here, I want God France. Oh, that's sad. Ooh, we're going to need some more grain and whatnot, aren't we? Head on up here, guys, if you can. Quite delightful. Oh, an encirclement! Yes, beautiful. Desired, heavily desired. Because 1941. Some 1942 stuff, of course. And you guys will go right here. And do that as well. Thank you very much. Encirclement completed. We destroyed five divisions so far. Very good. I guess we're still with Transylvania for some reason, too. I'm not sure why I understand that. No, I don't understand that, but whatever. Sometimes you just don't ask questions. Um, what else? Could use some more radar up here, perhaps. Get some more air superiority. Because how is air doing right now? It's a mixed bag. Not great in some places. We're doing quite well in some places. And some places are quite literally a mixed bag. Well, maybe not a bag, but mixed. You guys come over here. Because you guys have been doing pretty darn well so far. And, uh, yeah, help us deal with all this crap up here. Is that another encirclement? Three divisions this time? Oh. Jolly good. Absolutely delicious. And Cypher's still going. No, it's not. Let's do that. And we'll pause you. Beautiful. Go and link up. Help him out. There you go. Now that's good. So it's this way. Denmark's gone. Now you're part of it too? Nice. Oh, we got in circles. Not nice. Not nice. Sure. Why not? Slowly pushing in. They have up to 49 divisions. We have 30,000 30, manpower losses, but 52 divisions in total. We did free you guys, which is very good. Um, I don't know why you're ignoring some of these spots, though. But I'd recommend go right there and make an encirclement like that. That looks beautiful. There you go. Technically, it's an encirclement of nothing. Another encirclement right there, too. We're going to struggle a lot more on this side here, but you know what? Whatever. Whatever. Beautiful. I'm going to go Odessa. Zithomir. Why does it just encircle the capital? We'll see. Overall, though, not bad. And the more resources we take, the better we feel. Right? This episode's gone a lot longer than I thought it would originally, so. Plenty to build. Plenty to do. California declares. Yeah, you kind of expect that, yeah. Romanian Republic. They're doing alright. Yep, clean them up. Definitely struggling now. Oh, what happened down here? Oh, wow. The Western Empire did good quite a bit. A little bigger. Question of the Romanian Republic. Eh? Alright. Uh, no operative being recruited, which is fine. But like I said, we did get some uh, flame tanks. We have 3.3 thousand in reserve, so... 
You guys get some flame tanks. Oh, flame, or oh, that's recon. That's some flame tanks. Nice. Uh, can we convert you guys to motorized? Do we have enough trucks for that? We should. And we did finish the line doctrine as well, so. Not bad. You guys. Probably use some flame tanks too. If you wanted to. Armored recon? Why not? Because we can. Because we're worth it. That's why. There you go. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, local ancient recruitment. I don't really care. Oh, it's a Kiev. Nice. More military factories. We just don't have enough resources, most notably uh, aluminum. Oh, there we go. Steel. Why not? <coughs> Steel is very good. Very good. You go right there, you encircle them. It'd be very nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Capital is now, is it uh, Petrograd? They lost a quarter million against us. That's pretty good, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a little laggy, but you know. So far, Red Flood has not been too bad in terms of speed. Vilnius, Minsk. They're not cores, but whatever. I just wish we had more guys here. Let's get down. Another encirclement. Never mind, they're dead. Never mind, they're dead. Never mind, they're all about to all die. Very good. Yeah, going towards Warsaw, not so important. Going up further north like this direction, definitely more important. Especially if we take Moscow, that'd be really nice. Ah, uh, but look at all these encirclements. It's so nice to see. I'll take him out first. I'll get over the river. Cool, it's fine, whatever. Um, halfway done. 27 divisions left. Not bad. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, they're trying to cut us off, huh? We don't have a lot of divisions ourselves, but that's okay. You know what? Here. Keep coming to the front lines. Are you kidding me? Get on here. Right there, that's fine. Better reach your speed, nice. Excuse me, can you just have Moscow, please? That's all I'd like right now. We got some railway guns too, which is good. Keep going, keep going. Hey, Moscow's ours. That barely did anything, though, which is really disappointing, actually. And... 7 million manpower. Holy crap. It's a lot of dudes. Push from Etat Ariel. Also, we are on a historical, so... I would not intend for that to happen. How's planes doing? to import pretty much everything that has enough stuff to really give us so um here more refineries on the coast because we can heavies sure why not okay not too bad how many have we lost we lost 87,000 that's not not great but that cut off of 440 444,000 so that's not too bad hey look what well, was potentially maybe an encirclement 
We're getting there. You, I just want you to go, just go straight for Petrograd. Why would you leave Prussia as a rump state like this? Our patron lost. Prussian Spring. The Auswander. Uh, Castle Doctrine. Alright, interesting. I, I'm very surprised that they're still alive, but whatever. Ah. I don't want to take them out. Maybe I just want to take you out to a dinner. Cool, cool, cool. More air superiority. Hey, another division encircled and destroyed. And the 18 divisions left, not bad. Um, Novgorod? We're inching closer. Fire has been cut off. Very good, very, very good. Let's go to Danzig. Blood promoted. Convergence of technologies. Fuel refining. It's quite ahead of time to hit, but that's okay. Keep pushing them. Where are we guns. Beautiful. Nice. Apologize, this is taking so long. Socialized Russia, new Eurasia freed. Half a million losses. Pretty good, I'd say, overall. Novgorod is ours. They're like 95% of the way there. Literally 95% of the way there. And we'll be in Petrograd in not too short of a time. What, Germany? And that's the German Empire. So, guys. Those guys are gone. And we are there. Come on, come on. Hey. Hey, there we are. There we go. We got him. Good job, everybody. Very nice. And now to make history. Um, wait, what happened to the other one? Oh, we're actually peace. Oh, this one. Catherine Berg, Owen Berg, that's all off. Yakutsk. Well, to make history, maybe. Um, Petrograd, Perovsk. Oh. Oh, crap. Well, we can work on that for now. Um, to make history. <coughs> Kafka Society. Akmolinsk, which we do own. You own that one too? So, we're just missing this one. Okay, that's fine. March to the name of progress. Ah, an example of creative destruction. The area around the Kremlin was closed to the general public for weeks. Something great is going to happen. Indeed, soldiers of the Red Army were like new bricks of the ancient monument. Bricks like muscles made of blazing red dynamite connected with the veins of wire. A great ceremony had to come. History was to be written. The day has come. Mayakovsky himself was to push to the lever. The great leader was covered in cold sweat. He has come thus far. This will be his final testament in history. He had to gather his will. Destroy all the forces of remorse and dedicate himself to the deed. He stood for a minute. Finally, he moved his muscles. He did it. He pushed a thing. A spark of energy zapped through the wires immediately. What happened next went to the history books. 
A few seconds felt like an eternity. First of all, a fire emerging from the heart of an ancient palace, like an, an like an eye of a wrathful god who suddenly aged, grew in the gray hair of smoke and dust. The dusty clouds swirled in fantastical shapes, and there was a smell of fabric of history in them. The heart of the old world was gone, the historic task of destruction fulfilled. Now it's time for creation of the rubles or rubbles. Of the Kremlin. Camp Lums the streets of Moscow forever. There's a certain mystical power in them. It'll be utilized. A new palace shall rise, much greater than what came before. A structure of steel and concrete to the house of the future Communist Party of the world. The ruins of the castle of the Tsars will give foundations for the capital of the international proletariat, the nexus of all human power. And thus the Russian civilization entered a new profound plane of existence, free from the symbol of its old power. On the ashes of old will bring shining new world. If you read about the destruction of the Kremlin, please go right ahead. Away with the old rebels to the future. Supply is going to be a god awful issue, but that's okay. okay. So that's the last group we had to take out. My bad, I didn't realize that. And they're literally almost all dead. Nice! Great. And proclaim the Republic of Labor and Virtue. Futurist Communists unify Russia. The Red Army returning from its exile in the Caucasus swept all the other powers in the fractured motherland. And it rules as undisputed hegemon in Russia. A power line of the alternative non-German communist current arises on the international arena. The Bolsheviks unite under the leadership of Vladimir Mayakovsky, a legendary poet and founder of the Kavkaz Society. The new state transcends the dichotomies that divide Europe, professing both communism and radical futurism. The leaders proclaim that a new type of perfect man has been created in the Republic of Labor and Virtue. Unprecedented technological dominion arises in Russia, as the remains of the old Tsarist culture are destroyed by the masses of the newly proclaimed cultural revolution. The communist futurists preach with aggressive rhetoric, speaking of a great world revolution. Surely the new republic will ride into the future with the same bold fanfare that accompanied its conquest of Eurasia. Utopia is closer. Russian unification. Revolutionary despises public opinion. It despises and hates existing social morality in all its manifestations. For immorality is everything which contributes to the triumph of the revolution. Immoral and criminal is everything that stands in its way. Nice. It's a lot of manpower. We have 155 million core, 72 million non core. Let's make a lot of guns, it's fine. A lot of convoys. I completely forgot about ships. Nice. Um. <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to socialize Russia. And then we'll do Eurasia Freed. As our work of blood spilling is done, the Promethean fire enlightens. Every corner blows once the kingdom of darkness. No more tsars, no more military governors, no more capitalists. Only men. And these men shall live in such glory that will outshine every single past generation. Let's throw ourselves into the whirlwind of the blazing bright future that comes before Eurasia. Now, I, I, it says Greater Utopia on the thumbnail. And that's what I thought we would end up forming. But obviously, as you can tell, it's not. So, my bad. My apologies. Um, I thought it would be. Because I've seen posts of like Greater Utopia before. So, obviously, if we had more time, I'd like to take a trans bike all and all Central Asia and stuff like that. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Leaks are doing quite well. Um, Greece got really thick. You know, I want to fix this up if we can. Mm, that looks a little better. Was that fair? No, probably not, but I don't care. Mm, yeah, I just the borders just look better that way. But overall, not bad. 
This was a fun campaign. Obviously, it's sort of short, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, actually, who owns this one? Oh yeah, those Yugoslavians are being weird. Revolutionary Japan, could everyone the revolutionary or whatever army? Oh, Australia. I forget. Australia is always divided. That's so weird. By the way, some things not bad. National Front in Spain. America died. Canada still exists. New York's doing okay. Nothing really happened here. Nevada's doing okay. Deseret looks pretty thick as well. Mexico's okay as well. Not too much down there. Different. Africa's a giant mess. Israel got thick. We got some thick Jews. Why is France down here too? Huh. I have played Israel like three times, I think. Thanks a lot, huh? That's fun. Israel could be a lot of fun. League Solar. A holy alliance, huh? But let's finish off with Eurasia Freed. My god, sing forever. Zoom in real quick. And I think that's all the focus is, so. Yeah, not bad. I uh, don't want to try and Klebnikov sometime. That seems like a lot of fun. The Idealist. As well as Mersky. The Red Prince. Bolshevism for Eurasia. That's pretty strong. Plus 25% more factory output. Iron slaves on a chessboard. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Wait, hold on. 17%. Encryption, decryption, just five world time. More manpower, or political power, I mean, more political power. Lose a little bit of stability, looks like. Another research slot, of course. More, way more stability. Better tr uh, attrition, uh, construction speed, research speed. Even way better. Re way better. Ah, construction speed. It's a research speed. Way better encryption. Holy crap, encryption. Iron slaves on a chessboard. Very nice for a population factor. And star language. I'll try this group again some other time. They seem like a lot of fun. So, uh, just three more days. Let's see if there's anything here. If not, that's okay. I would have liked to do this one too, but we had to kill them off in the end. Unfortunately. But you're Asia free. So, I think that's pretty much going to be it for us here in this campaign. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And we'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.